Hello, it is Direct Mail, Monday, August 5th, 2024. Steve Cypress here, and today I'm sharing a very simple postcard. You see just front and back, barely oversized, but it is full color, so good job. It's sent, I believe, to a house list because my beautiful wife Rochelle's name is on here. And this is a local casino, which I have talked about before on Direct Mail Mondays. Uh, my mother-in-law, my beautiful wife Rochelle's mom, loves going to play the slot machines at the casino. And I think my beautiful wife, Michelle, took her to this one on her birthday a few months ago. Uh, but she goes more often than that, of course. And I guess that while my beautiful wife, Michelle, was there, she signed up on some kind of a mailing list or did something, possibly knowing that I, being an expert in advertising and marketing, love to get direct mail and love to be on the list of everybody. So maybe that's why she signed up. But I've been getting all kinds of marketing materials from this, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, we, you know, how do you pronounce that? We Copa or We Copa Casino. There it is. Uh, properly having the name and logo at the bottom, by the way. You want to use the top to get people's attention and give them a big benefit. If they feel that's a good benefit, whatever you're offering, whatever solution, or whatever problem you're offering, believe me, they will look down to the bottom for your name and your website, phone number, address, whatever it is. You don't put any of that contact information or, or vanity uh, ego stuff at the top, your name, your logo, cut that out. Use that space much better like this one does, has a big headline here. And uh, I've been getting a lot of stuff for them. This one, uh, real simple, great use of direct mail here. It's sent, I believe, to the house list. Otherwise, it, it might have just been every door direct mail or it could have said uh, to a dear occupant. But in this case, I believe it's sent to the house list and only a house list in a certain geographical area as you'll see because the postcard has a simple headline we and i just realized that we is the we in their logo in their name how about that so i'm guessing that's pronounced we right so it's not way or we it's we and it says we are now closer than ever i'm not sure it's ever because under that it says something that i don't know the details of but and I don't expect anyone watching this or listening or reading this to know the details, but it says Gilbert Road. Now, Gilbert is a town nearby here, so... But Gilbert Road between Thomas Road... Thomas, not a town, just a road, I guess. And SR87, maybe that means State Route 87, is reopened. So we are now closer than ever. Gilbert Road between Thomas Road and SR87 is reopened. So by saying reopened, that tells me it was open in the past and then it closed and this construction type of thing on the top tells me there was construction and sure enough, I turn it over and it does say after months of construction, Gilbert Road is now reopened, making your trip to, I don't know how to pronounce it again, We Copa Casino Resort even quicker but not quicker than ever if it's reopened. But minor detail, they're using the word ever to get someone's attention and and put out a big, bold promise. It's closer than ever. Uh, that's much stronger than saying it's closer than it's been for the last few months because you understand the road was closed. But go ahead, just get it out there. And marketing, it's known as puffery in the world of advertising and marketing, like a pizza box that says, you've tried the rest, now try the best. Who says that pizza is the best? Did they win awards? Did they, uh, you know, get pronounced by the community, uh, voted on in a local newspaper or annual competition? So, no, they're just, that's called puffery. We're the best. So this one says closer than ever. Sounds to me like it's closer than it's been for a few months. Still, the marketing department realized this is a good reason to send out a postcard and let's see if we can get some people in here. So I'm guessing my beautiful wife, Michelle, being on the house list in a certain zip code, right? So it says, uh, you know, spend less time drying, driving uh, because the roads reopened, but unless this casino is located like at a dead end, uh, people that are coming from other directions who may not have been at all, and depending how close this closure and construction was to their location, as a lot of people might not have been affected by this, they don't need to get this postcard. It wouldn't make any sense, right? Oh, we're closer than ever. The person receiving it, if I was on the other side of the thing of the construction, would say, like, no, they're not. That didn't affect me. Well, you know, not a good reason. So 
You want to segment the list, it's called. Uh, and AI, by the way, does this all the time automatically. It'll find opportunities for you based on the data in your list faster and better than any human can. I just mentioned that because I'm about to launch my new program, which is going to help people use AI-driven marketing to uh, to boost their marketing, advertising, sales results much, much, much better than ever. And in this case, it is than ever. Um, and uh, I have been doing this for about a year. Uh, I've been helping small business owners with their advertising, marketing, sales for decades. But for about a year now, we've been putting AI behind it to make it completely on autopilot, save a ton of time and work a lot better and make a lot more money for everyone using it. But now for the first time, thanks to a mentor of mine, I've decided to uh, also coach people through it. I love teaching. I love coaching. My mom was a school teacher. I've always been a teacher and I'm going to launch my coaching program. We'll still have the done for you if you want, but I'm going to launch my coaching program where I've got everything you need and I'm going to walk you through step by step and coach you on one on one calls and everything to do it yourself. It's fairly simple to do, or again, you, we could do it all for you, but this will revolutionize the world. Uh, anyway, uh, 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 the world of marketing for these business owners. But there's a ton of stuff A and I, AI could do. I'm only focused on the marketing and advertising aspects. Of course, the the operation side of things is where most people use AI, and that's you know changed people's lives by just clearing boring, repetitive tasks tasks off the plate of their employees, freeing them up to do better stuff being able to grow the business without needing more employees, getting stuff done right, quicker, better, employees are happier, they stay longer, all that kind of good stuff. Anyway, back to the postcard. So what you wanna do is look for a reason to send out an announcement. Here, they knew, I'm sure, ahead of time when the construction was ending, they got this all ready, and when it ended, they said, boom, let's send this out. I mean, do the math. That's all you gotta do is do the math. A postcard like this, you can probably send them for about a buck a piece. So, and I'm just rounding off the numbers. So let's say, and, and we live in the direct uh, direct mail world. We live in a 1% response rate. So if you want to get one person to come to the casino from this postcard, you got to mail out 100 of them. 99 people will throw it away, trash it, say, forget it. I'm not going. I already go. I hate casinos. I love casinos. I don't need a postcard. I go all the time. Whatever it is, 1% of the people will respond if you do it right. And this is done good enough that it'll get the 1%. Uh, of course, you know, with my help, I could boost it, but even boosting it to one and a quarter percent, one and a half percent, that's a 25 or a 50% increase. That makes a lot of money for people. And sometimes I boost response rates way up to three, four or five percent or more, I mean, just printing money. But let's just stick with the 1% and we'll do the math. Let's say the average person goes into a casino and drops about 300 bucks. Now, as I see these photos on the back, by the way, uh, it intrigues me and it made me realize, now I read the copy here, that, and I just did, it's a casino resort because I see the photos here are a picture of a blackjack hand, a slot machine, and then it looks like playing bingo, unless that's Keno, bingo, I don't know, and then like sitting out in these uh, lounge chairs. And so... Uh, a resort casino. So not only are people dropping money in the casino, but they might stay over in the resort. And then they might buy lunch, breakfast, dinner. They might do a little shopping if you have some nice shops there. Uh, if they upgrade to, you know, let's see, uh, spend less time driving and more time enjoying 24-hour gaming. It's very cool. They don't have that everywhere. Oh, bingo. It does say bingo. There you go. Bingo. Fine dining at Ember. So I'm guessing you have this fine dining restaurant in, but you're going to drop a couple hundred bucks in there. If you stay over in a room, drop a hundred, hundred, couple hundred bucks on dinner. Even if you get some of it comped, a few hundred bucks at casino, you're, you're in for a thousand bucks easy. Resort style amenities, probably a lot of which you're paying for, like a massage or some kind of spa treatment or whatever. And relaxation at the pool in one of our private cabanas, which you're probably upgrading and paying more for as well. So... They're definitely going to get a few, but let's just keep it at 300. Let's just say 1% of people respond, no more, and they spend only 300 bucks in the place, no more. And let's say the average person that likes going to casinos goes once a month. So, and the average family will live in a location for a little over five years, but let's just round it off to five years. Used to be seven, 
We're a little more mobile society now. It's five point something. We'll round it down to five. So five years, once a month, 300 bucks is 12 times 300 is 3,600 bucks a year times five years is 18 grand. So lifetime value there, 18 grand. Now let's, let's just half that. Say it's nine grand. Say we're way off. In fact, let's just say it's five grand. Let's just, they spend less money. They go less often. Let's just, and they, and they move more off, whatever. Let's just knock it way down to five grand. Still, doesn't it make sense to invest a hundred bucks to get one person who in the next few years is going to drop five grand in your business? Obviously, all five grand doesn't go in your pocket. You've got expenses. But let's say, you know, you're even taking home just 20% of that. That's a grand. So you put out a hundred, you got a thousand. And remember, I lowballed all the numbers. So you can see how direct mail is a huge, it's the biggest money maker. I mean, they can announce this on social media to their followers, like they did here to their house list. But I'm guessing they also targeted people in a specific the zip codes that are affected by this uh, um, road closure, construction, whatever it was. And they're sending a different message because it's not just, hey, we're reopened. It's convincing people that have not been at the casino how much fun it is and how great it is to come. It might even just convince people to come out for dinner. And then they realize, oh, wait, this restaurant's in a casino. After dinner, we had a couple of drinks of wine. Let's go, oops, you know, we had a couple of drinks of wine. We dropped a few hundred bucks without even knowing it at the blackjack table. Or, you know, we hit when we should have stood or whatever. Or we just had so much fun at the bells and whistles of the slot machine and just kept pouring money into it. Or, or hey, or let's stay over. I mean, whatever. But lowballing all the numbers, still a big money maker. So you can use a simple postcard like this. Look for things to announce. Announce, in this case, a reopening. Announce a grand opening. New location. A new website. A, a new employee you want to introduce to people if you are a professional attorney, a dentist, a chiropractor. Hey, we have a new associate a new reset we want to enter to any reason at all to announce things they're great for events uh in-person event online event it could be an in-person seminar an open house uh some kind of a party some kind of a grand opening some kind of a, a seminar some kind of a, a lecture whatever it is a meet and greet a networking event could be online a webinar could be a, a new uh um I don't know, uh, I'm launching my new program. So it could just be a new program you're launching, a new service you're offering, a new website, your redone website, whatever it is, a new Facebook group you're starting, whatever it is, event-based is great for simple postcards like this. We're having something is happening. Here you go, boom. Oh, and they've added in a little bonus here of $10 free play. Now, do you think anybody is just gonna come in and say, hi, I wanna play $10 worth, and then they're gonna leave? I mean, I guess if somebody lives next door, but again, you're sending out the direct mail piece. You're not sending it to anyone within a certain number of mile radius of your place. Uh, you're sending it to people that are affected by this construction. So let's say this construction is 10 miles away. You know, it's not likely someone's gonna drive all that way or anyway, or even come in if they live next door and get the $10 free play. I mean, it's the same as a restaurant offering a free appetizer or a free dessert. Nobody's coming in and saying, I just want a piece of chocolate cake and taking off. They're dropping 300 bucks on the dinner, right? So you understand. So they're adding a tiny, tiny bonus of $10 free play uh, for people to come in and drop their three, four, 500 bucks or whatever number I lowballed the number to and I lowballed how often or whatever. That's what you want to do, by the way. You want to do the math. And I always suggest, and with my clients and my own businesses, we lowball the numbers. So even if it doesn't work anywhere near as well as we wanted, and even our, if our high and mighty expectations about the numbers and the results are off, way off, since we knock all the numbers way down, still a big winner. In this case, 100 bucks to bring in at least 1,000. Big win, that's 1,000 in, in profit. Big, big winner. Direct mail, still the best bang for your buck. So that's it for Direct Mail Monday, August 5th, 2024. If you want to help with any of this stuff, hit me up, steve at stevecypress.com. I'm uh, publishing my new uh, ebook on uh, how to get more high quality leads and clients using AI. No opt in will be required. Uh, my tech team tells me that's definitely getting up by the end of the week and probably sooner. Hit me up if you want to get early access to that. Otherwise, of course, I'll be announcing it uh, all over the place as soon as it does go live and happen. 
Uh, also, you can uh, post a private message to me or a comment below wherever you're reading this, watching it, listening to it. If you want any help with any of our advertising, marketing, AI or not, that's what I've been doing for decades. And I will help you out with a message, with an email, with a quick phone call, whatever it is to get you going. Because if I can get you going and get you some results, perhaps later on you'll want some more and you might even someday become a client. Uh, we know, again, the numbers work out that way. So I enjoy teaching, I enjoy helping, and once in a while somebody does become a client and then of course they make a ton more money and, uh, and I make some money from it as well. Anyway, that's enough. That'll do it for Direct Mail Monday, August 5th, 2024. Thanks for being here today and I will catch you back here again tomorrow. On Topical Tuesday, I got some big, big business tips for you tomorrow. On Topical Tuesday, I will catch you then. Thanks for being here today. Over and out.